and a cheap shot by BK Jordan. Oh, and a monkey flip. Here we go. Oh, Frankie back up, and another arm drag onto the Interstate Champion. And a big leg sweep, referee Rich Bass. One, two, and kick out by BK. Frankie ducks the clothesline. Oh, big hip toss by the Interstate Champion, but uh, Frankie lands on his feet and actually intimidates the champ with some chest pounding. UK Jordan didn't like that chest pounding one bit, but uh, Rich Bass is trying to keep the uh, action going here. Fans letting BK Jordan know just what they think of him tonight. And the fans don't like the chest pounding of BK Jordan, but they're loving the chest pounding of Frankie Aria. There and uh, BK decides to get out of the ring and uh, maybe regroup, get his thoughts back together. Now, uh, I know Alex Payne, you're a former interstate champion, and uh, what would you be thinking right now on the outside? You definitely, what you're trying to do on the outside is you're trying to figure this guy out. He's a little midget. He's coming at you with all sorts of different intensities, and he's giving you different moves, and he's pounding his chest. You need to figure out a way to cut him off. You know what I would do? Hopefully not that because uh, BK Jordan looking quite foolish right now as Frankie Arian has the upper hand on the top rope interstate champion. Whip off by BK and uh, Frankie reverses. Charging BK and oh, right through the ropes down to that hardwood PAL floor out pain. Definitely a smarter move by BK Jordan. Take him to the outside, use a bunch of elements that can hurt him and cripple him and keep him down for the rest of the night. Well, speaking of elements that can hurt and cripple, BK just dropped uh, Frankie on those large guardrails outside the ring. And uh, there's definitely no give there, Alex Payne. Those are made out of solid steel. <laughs> those guardrails, man, they are unforgiving. I don't know where the hell they got them, but man, they hurt. Oh, BK Jordan with that signature elbow drop, man. The Interstate Champion now is the I think it had a lot to do with those guardrails, but we'll see. Frankie kicks out on two. You gotta give it to BK Jordan, though. That signature elbow drop, he's got like six feet elevation when he comes down. Well, you know, BK Jordan is a former basketball player, and uh, right now he's trying to take the easy way out as he's choking Frankie in the corner. BK telling the crowd he thinks he's number one. I'd rather say instead of choking, he's more using every side of the ring that he can. Let's not just throw stuff. Oh, what's that? I just saw his feet on the ropes, Alex Payne. Once again, he's just using leverage. If the referee sees it, well, okay, then you call it. But if the referee doesn't, well, whatever. Big chop by Aaron on BK. And now uh, Frankie might be making a little bit of a comeback of his own. Oh, BK's head flat into that turnbuckle. And now Frankie with the big whip up on BK. BK hits the corner. Oh, puts up those two boots. And Frankie Arian just ate a size 13 or a size 12. Who knows? That man can sure jump high. And he's got those feet on the rope again, Alex Payne. Once again, just uh, using leverage. Sorry about that. He's uh, using leverage on the ropes to uh, put the pressure on the chest for the pin. That's all. That's all. That's called cheating. But right now, BK has a uh, front face off on Frankie. Looks like he's going to suplex. And oh, he's got him up there. Oh. That can't feel too good on the spine of Frankie Arion, Alex Payne. Oh, two count. Frankie kicks out, shows a little hope. That was more of like two and a half. Let's just say cheating or not cheating, there was one guy with his back and knees down at the mat, and there's one guy standing, and that's BK. Well, I can't argue with that right now, Alex Payne, but uh, Frankie Arion seems to be getting uh, a bit of a third wind, actually, in this match, and uh, See some intensity on that face, and I, I don't see any quit in Frankie anytime soon. Oh, block punch, and oh, two block punches. Big forearm to the head of BK, who is uh, sent, oh, with a reversal. 
Big head scissors by Frankie. Oh, and Frankie seems rejuvenated. He's going for some type of uh, press slam, a gorilla press. Oh, no. The back is really gouging. Oh, block forearm. Frankie slapping himself in the head, getting it, getting it together. And, whoa, a big press slam on BK Jordan. Who gets dropped like a sack of potatoes. And now one, two. BK kicks out. Referee Rich Bass with the two count. The crowd getting behind Frankie now. Alex Payne in a reverse by BK. What does he get here? Catches the high cross body time. Swing it. Oh, a bit of a modified. Uh, what would you call that, actually? I'm going to call that the Jordan Jam. BK Jordan with the Jordan Jam. Only good enough for a two count. Frankie's in another world right now, Alex Payne. Twist of the arm and the whip off. Oh, a reverse, and here we go. We could see a uh, a bit of a pin attempt. Ba oh, BK reverses into a backslide. Referee Rich Bass, one, two, and kicked out by Frankie Arion. Just when Jordan has this all wrapped up and figured out, Frankie Arion comes back. It's just another thing, BK Jordan outsmarted. Uh, Frankie Arion, he went for the pin attempt, and now we got another pin attempt. By Frankie Arion, who's now smarting BK Jordan, and Frankie gets thrown across the mat, and BK almost on the prowl right now, and he gets Frankie and whips him into the corner. BK goes charging in, misses that big splash. He must have had about 17 feet there, and Frankie goes up, and oh! Down with the, uh, I guess you could call it the Franken driver. One, two, three! Frankie Arion wins and just defeated the top four promotion of the champion, Alex Payne. I don't even know how that happened. I mean, the referee counted a little quick if you, if you ask me. I don't know about a, a quick pin there, but uh, regardless, the winner and the man who just defeated the top four promotion is interstate champion, Frankie Arion. And we will see here on November 7th at the PAL Hall in action. Oh, Frank almost mocking BK. I think, I think he's calling for a title shot. You know, when they brought me into Top Rope Promotions, I don't know what they thought they were getting into. I'm not a can, I'm not a jobber. You know, everybody knows I'm the underdog. It's a position I'm really used to. And BK Jordan thought that tonight. You know what, tonight, I came out on top. And I've known BK for a long time, and the guy's a hell of an athlete, but tonight I was the better man, and I beat him. You know, unfortunately for me, it was a non-title match. But what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm just gonna get on my knees, and I'm just gonna beg the powers that be, whoever it is, just give me a title shot. It wasn't a fluke, I'm not a joke. I'm here to say I'm in it to win it. Just give me a shot, you won't be disappointed. Just give me a chance, I'm the real life Rocky Balboa. This wasn't a fluke. So you always wanted to be a part of pro wrestling. You want to know what it's like to be in the spotlight, in the ring, in front of all the hundreds and thousands. You want to learn from someone that's been there. You want to learn from someone that knows old school and new school. You want to learn from a promotion that's been around for over 25 years and gives you the opportunity to wrestle month after month after month. If you ever wanted to pursue your dream of being a pro wrestler, contact the lockup. Visit lockupwrestling.com TopRopePromotions.com E.F. and Arion Tonight happened to be your night But just like Tom Brady happens to throw a couple interceptions Here and there, just like Michael Jordan Misses a couple shots The difference between guys like us And guys like you is Michael Jordan, Tom Brady And B.K. Jordan Everybody's number one superstar We don't lose championships and Friday, November 7th, the PAL Hall for the Interstate Championship. Frankie Arion, BK Jordan. You want to call yourself an underdog? I'll tell you what kind of underdog you are. You're just like that dog that has the big U on his cape, has a cape out there. I'll tell him what I'm going to do to you. I'm going to kick you like a puppy. I'm going to kick you straight out of Fall River, back over that bridge out there. Because I am not losing the Interstate Championship on Friday, November 7th.